very excited about this film because I've known Luis Palau for quite some time. One of the most remarkable people ever in the world. Mm. So how did you guys first find out about his story, get cast for this film? Gaston, I'll start with you. Well, uh, I received a phone call from Luis maybe 10 years ago, and he thanked me for a documentary that I have done uh, about a festival that he had made 16 years ago in, in Argentina. At, at the end of the conversation, he said something like, and that God was going to meet us together again. So two years ago, I received a phone call from Miami, and someone of his association told me that they were thinking about doing a movie about Luis, and they were considering me for the main role, so that's why I'm here. We came, I mean Luis and I, from the same country, Argentina. You know, Scott, you have uh, appeared in so many television shows and movies. You've been on a lot of daytime uh, soaps, and a lot of people will say, I know that guy <laughs> from a gazillion things you've done. You play the part of Ray Stedman. I do. Who is a uh, very close associate of Luis Palau. Yeah, he was, he was very integral in, uh, integral in uh, Luis coming to the States, brought him to the States. He was a, an evangelist from Palo Alto, California who was very missions oriented and, uh, and, and globally oriented. And uh, he just had a way with um, mentoring young men and encouraging young men and being a part of their lives. So it was, it, I was very honored to get to be a part of uh, such a legacy piece honoring Luis. You know, sometimes a biography <clears throat> has so much power that people think it's fiction because there's no way this could be a real story. Yes. But in this case, I mean, this is the real story Absolutely. of a guy that many of us have admired for decades, and he's such a powerful figure, bigger than life in so many ways. Yes, yes. And, and I met him two, two years ago, and I could see his, I always say this, but I want to say it again. I could see his humility, his humanity. So the only thing that I had to do was put that in the movie. You know, uh, one of the things a lot of people may not know, Luis is struggling right now. He's mm -hmm. 84 years old, diagnosed with cancer. Uh, I had a conversation with him today. He has a book coming out in August, but he has such the most wonderful outlook about his life. And he's still here, and he's been able to see the movie uh, up to this point. And, um, and so I think that's just, you know, kind of a statement right there of, you know, God had a plan, and, and he was going to see it through. But he, I think he, from what we've heard, he, he's ready. Yeah. He's, he's, he's ready to, you know, kind of go and see, you know, who he's been talking about for his entire life and, and pointing people towards. Very few people have had the impact that he has had. What an honor to have you guys here to talk about the film and his incredible life. And the film, Palau, the movie, opens in the U.S. as well as in Central and South America the first weekend of April. You can find out more, find out where to see it, and I hope you will. Mark this down for April. Go see it at palaudthemovie.com or on Facebook at Palau Movie.